Uh, Rick's about the morning show. By now, you've uh, heard his name. Friday night, 27-year-old Rashard Brooks, uh, a father of four, was out celebrating and fell asleep in the parking lot at a fast food restaurant. Uh, the police were called, and after attempting to arrest Brooks, he ran with the officer's taser and was fatally shot twice in the back by an uh, Atlanta police officer. And uh, on the line right now, we have attorney Justin Miller, who represents the family of Rashard Brooks. Uh, Justin, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. How are you? Hey, good, man. Thank you for joining us this morning. How's the family doing? Man, the, the family is not doing well. Um, you know, the, the, those girls, I, I've been seeing them crying a lot, a little more lately. Uh, it's kind of setting in what's happening. It's, it's just sad, man. Wow. Um, Atlanta, I know that uh, Atlanta District Attorney Paul Howard has said the charges could range from murder, felony, uh, murder, or involuntary manslaughter. Uh, what, what, what do you, if you was the, you know, the DA, um, how would you, how would you charge? Ricky, that's a that's a hard question, just because you know the DA has a job to do. They have to charge what they think they can prove. Um, so I try not to get into that because that's not what I do. I advocate for these families. Uh, for the kids and for the wives. And I try not to get into the charges. I let the DA do their job, and then after they do it, we can have discussions about what they charged and, uh, and why. Right. Uh, so so now that the autopsy uh, has been released, is there an update? Um, yeah, so I don't know if you... My partner Chris and I have literally been on this case right since we just left the George Floyd case. We, we haven't had any sleep. So <laughs> the the updates are coming every time we wake up, and it's like another thing, another thing. The last thing that happened was uh, Mayor Bottoms uh, said that she's going to, to, to sign some executive orders to, to make some police reforms with the, the Atlanta Police Department. So we think that's a good start. Right. Uh, uh, today, t- Now, today, uh, the USA Today uh, reported the shooting was lawful but awful. Uh, due to the fact Brooks turned towards the police with a taser. And what do you say to that? So if you look and that's at... That's crazy for them to say that. I, I have to add. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, that is crazy. I, it's ridiculous. I, if you look at the video, before he turned with that taser and shot it wild into the air, because he didn't hit anybody, but before he turned with that taser, the officer had already dropped his uh, his taser and, and was and was reaching for his gun before he turned. And that's important because he was running in front of the officer. So the officer couldn't catch him. The officer drops his taser, starts reaching for his gun because he's going to shoot him in the back. Anyway, now, no matter time, what he did. Yeah, already. He was about to shoot him in the back. So And when you watch the tape again, just slow it down. So then you see Mr. Brooks kind of turn around and, and, and shoot into the air. And then he turns back around and continues running. This is all in a very quick second. And then the officer shoots him in the back and in the butt. What uh, are your thoughts after hearing the 911 call and watching the body cam footage in this whole case? I just think that we have to, and, and I, when I say we, I mean people just generally, we have to be more careful about when we call the police because certain situations just don't require that kind of intervention. And until the police are trained differently, those kind of uh, interactions can result in very, very bad consequences, especially for black people, as we know and as we've all seen. So I would just say, you know, if you're going to call the police, if you see somebody in the drive through sleeping, you know, right. get, get somebody out there. Tell them, help them, you know, move them. Call right. them. You, uh, yeah. you help them get help. Because I'm, I'm wondering, like, 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 why didn't somebody just go and tap on the one and say, hey, bruh, 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 wake right. up. Come Especially, on. And, and, you know, I'm from Atlanta, and I, and I live, I, I don't live in that area, but I'm from, I know that area. And, like, people, black people need to have it in our mind that we only should call the police in absolutely extreme circumstances. Like, if there's any other option, we need to exercise that, and that needs to be our very last option until we get some of this stuff worked out. Legally, I mean, I, I, I agree. I yeah, thought I agree. the girl they called the police was the white. Changes. Well, people, no. period. I mean, right. well, I mean, we right. can't speak to that community because they may not be listening. Right. But I'm just saying, you man. You said you thought the person called the police was what, Brett? I thought she was white. 
But maybe not. Not a not, not a day, Wendy's. I thought I had heard <laughs> when I heard the call. She was like, I don't what care. What a Wendy's at? Which, oh, no, 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 no. You, I know what Brad's talking about. Brad's talking about that was the 911 dispatcher who said that she reported to a superior because she was watching a video, a live video of what was going on. Okay. And, and yeah. uh, okay. something something about uh, reporting to the... Yeah. Was that the George Floyd situation? Oh. The, the, they all starting right. to get wrapped up in the one. Right. So, 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 attorney. Um, it's all the same thing. Uh, uh, let, let, let me ask you, what do you think is going to happen in this case? And uh, if you had to guess, what do you think the officer would be charged with? Um, Ricky, don't make don't make me don't make me guess on that, man. I, I really I really don't know. Uh, I hope they are charged though with something that the family can live with because that's who's really hurting and that's who's really asking for it. I mean, they are from that community. That family is from there. The whole family. I mean, I've seen 30 and 40 family members, different people coming in and out, and they are sick right now. So I hope that whatever they're charged with, it makes the the family at least get some kind of rest and some kind of solace from that. Hey, man, thank you for all that y'all are doing, man. All the y'all attorneys out here, man, that's that's representing and uh, trying to do everything to try to uh, make sure that we are uh, our rights and stuff are not being violated, or whatever. And and I'm, I'm sure you're getting all kind of crazy death threats and everything else. Uh, that, yeah. that, that, oh, oh you, you trust me. I know. I talk to uh, Crumpet Reverend Al all the time, and I know y'all y'all getting it too. And uh, make sure you give the family uh, our regards. We love uh, love y'all, and we support y'all. Is there anything you need from us? Uh, anything you need for us to put out there? Uh, uh, we are here, and uh, thank you for taking time out of your schedule to come on the show. We really appreciate it. And 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 Ricky, can I just add one thing? I, I would just say to people who want to do something, who want to help, who want to who say, "What can I do?" With with these families, especially this one, donate to their GoFundMe. They, I mean, people say, "Oh, I got a college fund for the kids, and I want to do this and that," but people got to make it to college. You know what I mean? Right. You got to get there. And so the money that that Rashard was bringing into that household was the only money going into that household. And now it's gone. And there are four kids and a wife there. So if you can, please donate. Help that family out because they really need it. Right. Uh, Is there a certain account set up? Is there an Instagram or a cash app or anything? Yeah, there's a GoFundMe, an official GoFundMe. Uh, We'll send you that information when we get off the line. Uh, but there's an official GoFundMe set up for the for the family, so we we would like everybody to donate to help them out because, like I said, they really really need it. Hey man, thank you, uh, thank you so so much, man. Y'all, uh, uh, Justin Miller for coming on the show, man, and I tell the other attorneys keep doing what they're doing, and we here to support you. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs>